everybody it's austin we're back out at the truck with another awesome product product from oedro they're the ones that made the floor mats in the last video uh this is a tonneau cover which as you already know if you watch the channel my truck has a tonneau cover on it already but my dad's here with his 2014 1794 package toyota tundra with the deck rail system in the truck so we're going to go ahead and get this tonneau cover installed which is super easy all you do put on the foam stripping at the front of the truck bed put these little aluminum brackets in the deck rail system and tighten them down and then this clips right to it so we're going to go ahead and bring you in closer to show you how to put that on and see how it turns out all right so we have the tonneau cover up here it comes folded which is how you're going to install it on the truck to get it lined up and like i showed you just before this we have the weather stripping that goes on the front of your deck rail but my dad previously had a tonneau cover on here and it has the weather stripping that was installed from that so we're just going to go ahead and utilize that um, instead of you know needing to put on the new weather stripping but let me show you the first step that you got to do after you've installed that weather stripping you'll uh you'll set this up on here to get it kind of lined up and fold it out and make sure everything is aligned perfectly um, that's of course after you do the foam so you get it up there set it up so it's aligned unfolded and then you refold it and then we're going to go ahead and put the front clamps into the slots and that's what these are so they'll slide in to your rail just like that so that you got a little latch for it to catch on but the first step so you can do that is to take the take the latch right here and loosen the set screw so that it gets out of that channel so that you can go ahead and slide it so once you've got that sucked in it'll be nice and smooth and then it'll slide right into the channel so we're gonna go ahead and get this tonic cover put up into place get those where they need to be there's probably two in the back as well but we'll show you that when we get there and get this tonic cover put up so that we can get his truck sealed off for the rest of his trip through the midwest all right we'll see you in a second all right so now that we got it kind of folded out it is taut right there so you gotta really force that down um because it's not in the clips currently so that's why it's kind of buck puckered up but we have this one temporarily locked down in the clamp right there as you can see it's not in there super tight but just enough to kind of sort of hold it down but we're gonna see get it aligned with the tailgate let's see Does that look like it needs to be more out on that side? Yeah. So the edge of this center, so we want this in line with that. Cause see how mine's over that edge? Can you pull your side? Yeah, I think that's pretty. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. That looks even. We need to go this way. On your side? Forward? Both it... sides actually need to come forward about half an inch. Okay. At least a half an inch in this rubber okay thing. i pushed just a little bit mm. it looks even up here no. i just pushed that one back more too more yeah yeah that's good here, let me make sure i'm in the center right here so we're just checking to make sure this yeah. seal's also matching right there while having the front of the truck bed aligned with the front of the bed. I think that's way too far over. <laughs> he's got the eagle eye. It needs to go back further. No, it's not locked down. So that's still partially latched down. There is a seal all along under here. 
that we're trying to make sure meets with the top of this. Perfect. Because it's a really nice, nice cover. It feels good. It's very taut. Play the drums on it if you don't have a drum set. Just want to get it perfectly aligned so it seals for the rest of the trip. Is that all good to you? Yeah. This is nice. I stand here and act like I'm doing something, and then you walk around and check everything. I'm going to check it. No, that's, ah, that's perfect. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold it. It's perfect. That's good right there? Yeah. Okay, so, so we need to we're going to consult the instructions, but I think we might lock down the front while we're here. And then, no, do the back first. The back has a different clamping method. Let me show you. Flippage. We'll get this flipped open and then we'll show you. All right, so we're holding gently while we're flipping back, keeping it in place. It's okay, that's my hand. Feel free to let go. Thank you. That's my hand still. All right. Oh, mine's slipped. Just kidding. We're good. Oh, it's still my hand. Well, you're folding in. I'm getting hurt. Okay. Perfect. All right, now we're going to get up in the truck bed and get this connected. All right, so we're sitting up in the truck bed now, and the latch system in the front is a little bit different. So you've got your aluminum piece that hooks on the clamp and then twists up into place like that, whereas in the front, it's a lever system. So let's slide this back. And get that right in the middle where it needs to be. So we have this set where we want it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock that down, but we got to get the set screw back into place like where we had it. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that up first, and then we will go ahead and get the clamp in installed. All right, so I got this tightened down with my little Allen key right in that set screw. And then you can just twist this. Tighten that against that. You can see the light in the back. Let me go ahead and see if this will pull it down. You can see the light disappearing. Look at that, that's awesome. All right, so that's pretty darn good. I'm not gonna go crazy tight because I don't wanna break it, but that's awesome. The light we're seeing there is just separation in the gap in the metal, but all of the weather stripping is smooshed and we can now go on to the other side and get that one put into place which you got to undo the cardboard and get your other bracket slid up there and then we'll get rid of that gap make this baby watertight basically a drive through the ocean they don't claim that on the website but you probably can so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll get to the fun part the latches All right, so something I didn't realize on the last one is that this is at an angle, and I just thought that was normal. But there are two separate alignment points that you can see right here, right there, to give you a more straight down angle. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen this one back up and slide this over, which slides along that rail, to the inner alignment point so that we get a straight pull up on the cover. All right, so I got the brackets to the front of the cab, front of the bed, hooked into place, as you can see, up in there. And we're going to try to keep the track system tie downs in place, just keeping them, kind of splitting the difference between where this bar will lie. I don't think they'll get in the way because this should be above the bed, but we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot just to have tie down points if need be. And then we will keep the aluminum bars at the end where the final latching will be. So we're gonna go ahead and get this tonic cover flipped forward and find out where those are. All right, so as we're flipping this forward, I just wanted to point out, this is a better look at the different alignment notches you can have, that if you want the rod to be straight up and down to give you pull 
straight down to the truck bed as opposed to the rod being canted, you can adjust left and right this uh, latching mechanism. And the one on the driver's side flips towards the tailgate, whereas the one over there flips towards the truck bed. So that's just something to keep in, keep in mind as you are flipping those forward and backwards for storage. Um, one goes backwards, one goes forwards. All right, so we're putting this in place and my dad has the swing case, which makes this a little bit different. Um, we're gonna get the latches installed. And then I think with that installed, we'll be able to flip the swing case back. So we're gonna keep these in the middle. And to adjust the, the height um, of these, you can screw them in and out, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then they are in their lowest point when it is up like this and they'll be taut when you pull it down. But I'll give you a better look near the truck bed. It's tight. There. Let me bring the camera up here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get the aluminum brackets installed i have mine kind of close to where i think it should be but i'm going to adjust that a little bit so you can see where this hangs down straight we're going to want to get the bracket centered up with that latch all right and that looks about right do you have your set where you want it yeah so what if we lift up the tonneau cover to get those tightened down in that spot, do you think? Yeah. Just so it's out of the way. Uh, so maybe just lay it back one and then we'll tighten them down with our Allen key. There you go. All right, so he's getting that tightened in there. Just a little tiny set screw just to hold that in place. Look at that form, perfectly executed. Right. I'm getting you on film, you look good, Dan. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and flip this down. Oh, I have it aiming on you. Let me get mine out of the way. All right, you got yours? Is that latch okay? Maybe. Is it too tight? Too tight. Okay, so. So you're going to unscrew it. I went one turn. I think about one turn. Does that feel pretty good? That's it. I think. All right, let's try this one. Okay, so. Mine's too tight, so I'm going to loosen it. I did one turn to the left. That's too tight still. Let me go two turns. Too tight still. Is that it? That seems good to me. You have to check it and see what you think. All right, so we've gotten that loose, and if we wanted to loosen it, we just turn it left one, tighten, go to the right, and then you can see as you pull down, that tightens your cam there. So we got it loosened, pull down, and that seems to be pretty tight. But we'll get we get Dad's seal of approval on that if it looks tight enough. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Need to be tighter. <laughs> All right, one more tight. But overall, it seems to sit really nicely. It's not as floppy as your typical tonu covers that are not hard. So we really like that. We don't like the floppiness around here. We'll see if the swing case closes. If you can get the vice grip out of place they're all there yeah 
It's in the way. Has it hit? Like, yeah. We're going to work right. on getting the swing case reattached. It's broken. It's not, not swing case's fault. We're going to work on getting that reattached. And then we'll show you guys what this looks like with the tailgate closed. Pretty sweet, though. All right. So we have the tailgate shut, and it is a really solid seal. When we put the tailgate up, it bumped up the tonneau cover. I'm going to show you. you can see, you can, you can feel it bumps that up looks really nice really nice and tight cover and we just pulled this out of the box so he hasn't had time in the sun to to bake or really do anything you've got nice clips here for when it's folded back it'll fold back twice and lay here like we installed it at the beginning and then you can buckle those down so you have your truck bed open. But this looks really good. This is by, I think Oedro is the parent company, but it's a Yida mower motor uh, tri-fold tonneau cover. And I'll have the link below on my Amazon affiliate link, tri-fold soft tonneau cover. And I'm really pleased. I hope my dad likes it. Hope it keeps his stuff dry for a little while. Let me show, show you guys how this folds back and then we'll, we'll wrap up this video. All right, so we're gonna show you how easy it is to fold this back. Nice solid seal when you undo it. Just because he has the swing case, I'm gonna take this off. Man, those are hard. All right. Flip the latch. Here's not. All right, we're gonna wanna flip these up into position. Here's gonna go down. Okay. And then this will go back twice. And then your straps. We'll hook it down so you can drive around. A little bit of storage. in your truck like that. So you can haul around friends, family, anybody you don't want in your truck. Looks pretty good. But then we're gonna fold those, fold that back down and see how the tailgate closes with it. So one more point of installation. It comes with these nice padded pieces that are to adhere right here to protect your truck bed. If the rod is lined up in that first position nearest the side of the truck bed, um, that would force back on it. So we are not gonna use those because our we're using this second point right there in the middle. But I just wanted to show you guys that. And then the kit also comes with extra pieces of the clamp piece that hooks to your aluminum bracket a replacement and then the little screw pin that goes in here or goes above here to allow it to screw in so nice that they give you a couple extra pieces All right, well, that is it for the Oedro Yida Motor uh, three-way tri-fold tonneau cover. We're excited to have this on Dad's truck. We'll see how it does in the rain and in the car wash. But thanks for stopping by. We'll have the link down below, so check that out if that's something you're interested in. 
if you click the affiliate link it helps me out so i can show you guys more cool videos like this one for fun products that you probably don't need to buy for your truck but we all think you should all right we'll see you on the next one feel free to like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you out there on the road just kidding i think that's someone else's tagline see you on the next one